just just uh, making some mead here, making some lemon mead. Just lemon. There's going to be some raisins going in, but not enough to call it lemon raisin. Uh, I just juiced and flayed uh, about six lemons. Um, with lemons, because the skin's going in too, into this recipe, you want to make sure the lemons are clean. Uh, just rinse them. That's what I did. And we'll see how it turns out. Let me know if that's, if you, if you came through a different way besides just rinsing, but that's what I've done so far and have had success with that. Um, what else goes in this is, uh, just a couple, I'm just going to put in some raisins. It's not in the recipe, but I want to do it. And, uh, the recipe calls for sweet wine yeast as usual, but I only have champagne yeast. Champagne yeast as usual. So I'm gonna pitch the champagne yeast. I put in a little bit of extra honey because it is the champagne yeast, which is which has got the higher tolerance and is uh, finishes a little bit drier. So what I've done is I put in about two pounds of Ontario white honey, uh, which is local. This is local in my town. Um, and white honey just means it's, as far as I can tell, it just means it's wildflower honey. And then I've, I've added a little bit of orange blossom honey, just the end of my little stash of orange blossom because I hate this container. So I want to get rid of these and be getting larger containers. Hopefully I can talk to some apiaries around here and get like a big bucket because I'm going to be doing this all the time. So I haven't shaken this yet. Um, the... The must is looking kind of gorgeous. You can see the honey on the bottom, the water on top. I spared you the terrible suffering of watching me get all the honey and water into this container. Um, so let's get everything in. Honey is almost done in the funnel. Here's my lemon juice that's gonna go in next. Well, that was bound to happen. Lemon juice is spilling. I don't know if we have room for everything. I'm going to pour some out. I'm going to mix it first before I do that. Great. Here's my dish bowl. Here are my lemon carcasses. That's exciting. I've peeled all of them. So the recipe recommends to, um, well, okay, so don't put the, get, get as much skin as you can without getting the white pith of the lemon. Um, I went fast and I used a knife, so I got some pith, but maybe if you're careful and you use a sharper knife or you use your actual peeler, which is the actual correct tool for this, um, then you can avoid the pith a little more than I did. I know it, does, it doesn't bother me um, when I taste it, and some people complain about pithiness at racking, and I don't really, I don't know, it doesn't bother me. So if it bothers you, then make sure you're careful and you just get the skin. Um, the recipe also recommends to use a little mesh bag and uh, make sure you put it in the bag so it's easier to get out, which sounds smart, but I'm not doing it because I don't have a little mesh bag. But it doesn't sound like a smart idea, so do it if you have a little mesh bag. I've heard of people using nylons and stuff like that. Um, you basically just want to make sure the, uh, the skins are contained so they're easy just to grab out of there when you're racking, you know? So, that looks so pretty. It's probably not showing up on my camera, but uh, it looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. I'm gonna put a, pour a little bit of this out, to be honest with you, because it's a little bit full, just a little bit. I think I mostly lost some lemon juice there, so. Um, I'm going to add a couple of raisins, about 15 raisins, organic raisins, just because I think it's a good yeast nutrient. You might use it for, I'm also adding yeast nutrient proper because I don't want to take my chances with all that honey. It's an expensive failure. I'm not made of honey. Most important thing. Yeah. There it goes. This is 
coming in. Boy, super full. I'm not gonna put anything else in there. I'm gonna put the lid on and shake it. And then I'm gonna leave the lid off for a couple of hours and then I'm gonna put on the airlock. And this is gonna, I mean, this is fruit, so we're gonna, this is probably gonna foam up nicely, so I'm definitely gonna have to get rid of some of this once I stir it up, but I wanna make sure the yeast gets in there. That's the trouble with being lazy and not measuring and just putting water in. Really, really. You should shake it. I'm shake it a lot. You shake it for like five minutes. So, I'm gonna shake this, and then I'm gonna put the yeast nutrient in when I'm done shaking it. I'm gonna get a little bit out of there. Um, it's too full. I'm gonna take some pictures of it. And that's it. That's my lemon mead. So let me know what thoughts you might have on that. And happy mead crafting. See you next time. Bye.